there were some opening comments made by our budget chair, so I thought I would just make a few as the vice chair budget also. We do have difficult decisions before us, but certainly not as difficult as they could be or perhaps will be should we find ourselves doing an all cuts budget. In budget committee and then in conference committee, we've made some difficult choices. <clears throat> The Republicans in the conference committee supported the, the governor's cuts. And what we've ended up with is what we would score is about a billion dollars of phony cuts now that have been substituted, some of them one-time monies. And so that's gonna remove us further away from a real solution to the problem we have. Now we often treat this, our budget, our budget deficit as if it is the problem. If we can only solve this problem this year, we have solved the problem. It is merely a symptom of the problem. It's not the problem. It's the problem we're solving for right now. But that's exactly why some of my colleagues have tried to get some reform. Some things that will help rein in what I call the beast of government to a sustainable level. As much as I enjoyed listening to the statistics about percentage of domestic product and some other things I don't really quite know how to get my hands around. What I can get my hands around is this. At the peak of our spending, our general fund was $103 billion. The legislative analyst says that because of federal funds, because of bond funds, because of special funds, our programmatic spending has been reduced a big $4 billion to 99 billion dollars for the last three years. We reached that high of 103 billion in 2007-8. For the last three years, we've been bumping around about 99 billion dollars. Now it's true, we don't have the backfill of the federal funds this year, but it underscores this appetite for government growth that indwells this institution. And it is a unique opportunity we have to change the culture of Sacramento to one of outcome on what are the results we're looking for and how do we get there as opposed to one of solving the budget this year and then looking at the problem next year and looking at the problem the year after that without solving the underlying driving factors that give us these deficits. So there's a lot of things that go into this. None of the decisions are easy. We could very well be looking at an all cuts budget down the road and we will long for the days we had to make the difficult decisions today. But as we address this bill in particular, here again, we're about $312 billion, uh, excuse me, I, let me forget my uh, stuff here. We, we are a significant portion, 312 million, billions, millions, 312 million lower than where the governor had scored this. And so somewhere along the line, we're gonna run up on a gap again between some of the phony stuff and some of the real cuts. But that's where it is. After having said all that, I will be casting an eye vote on this because I do believe that we need to make the cuts that we can even though they don't go as far as what I supported in the conference committee.